Oliver Andrews, a British citizen from Bournemouth, has been sentenced to 10 years in prison after using fake money to purchase drinks at a nightclub during his holiday in Morocco. Andrews and his friend were arrested the following morning after the police discovered the counterfeit money. The duo, who have already spent five months behind bars, were found guilty of possessing and distributing counterfeit money. Andrew's partner, Alana Kornick, has vowed to appeal the decision, describing it as the worst possible outcome. Although they were acquitted of creating an organised criminal group and making counterfeit money, the family of Andrews and Kornick expressed disappointment and frustration with the British Embassy's lack of assistance. Andrews claims that he was unaware that the money was fake, but despite this, he was still handed a decade-long prison sentence. His partner, Kornick, stated that she has been an emotional wreck after receiving the news of the sentencing, and that their family is hoping for the best while remaining hopeful and keeping their fingers crossed. Kornick has expressed concern over Andrew's welfare in prison, revealing that he has been struggling with his mental health and has even shared suicidal thoughts during phone calls. The family has been urging the embassy to check on Andrew's welfare, but they feel like they have been left to fend for themselves in this ordeal. The embassy has provided consular assistance to the two British nationals arrested in Morocco and is in contact with the local authorities, but Andrew's family feels let down and deserted by their own government. Counterfeit money has been an issue for many countries, including the UK, where police seized the largest amount of fake cash in history just last year. Andrew Ainsworth, a 61-year-old, was given a five-and-a-half-year prison sentence for conspiring to produce counterfeit currency. His gang used specialised printing machines to print fake £20 notes, but the Bank of England discovered £1.8 million in fake cash entering circulation in January of 2019, leading to his arrest.